Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Goodbye. See you later. Yo. Bye. Yo. See you later. What's goody? What's goody? It's Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you are watching. Another episode of Lord of Perfected Word. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, create a Twitch, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that when I do go live, you know I'm live. If you haven't visited my website, shoelovesrebels.com you should check it out because we got a lot of shit on it we being me and the multiple personalities I have got a lot of shit on this website images you see to the left of my face I guess will be your right these are images to help heal and calm the mind Some pretty good images. Pretty healing images. Very healing images. Now we done got all that out the way. Let's get into this shit, man. Let's take a sip of water. Because water is essential. And we're going to start this stream today. Damn, y'all. Today feels so different. I think I'm going to puke. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to puke. I feel disgusted. Not really sure why I've been feeling this way since I woke up this morning. I just feel disgusted with it. So many things. I don't even know what exactly I just do. So been trying to tap into uh, the energies of Anubis and Osiris because I feel like I'm walking through the motherfucking underworld man by underworld I just mean I'm going through my the shadows you know like I tell y'all every day you know work on shadow work because that's how you're gonna realize who your real self is and what's really going on within yourself also, uh, going through this type of shit, gotta do it by yourself. So it's been a little fucking interesting on me today. Has been having interesting effects on me today. So 
I'm gonna talk about uh, ways to cope with the going through shadow work. How to how to deal with that type of shit. And really, it's no coping me mechanisms that I'm sure that you may not already know. But just a reminder, because sometimes when you alone, there's nobody that you talk to because, you know, you might go to a uh, outside source to pick up information to listen to after the fact. But you probably won't be doing this right during the shadow work itself. So... Ways to deal with it is if you really got to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. Make sure it's somebody that's ready to listen. And don't don't try to make this shit about you, all right? Because you're healing yourself so that you're able to interact with others, okay? So first things first, don't try to make it about you and make people feel bad. Because when you do that, then it just defeats the purpose of your healing. Because now you're just being a dickhead because you're in your feelings. So make sure that before you even think, just don't, if you think you're going to even be on some dumb shit like that, just don't even talk to people. So first thing first, just stay away from people. Because more than likely, they're going to try to tell you what to do during this shit. And honestly, when you're going through shitty ass feelings, the best thing to do is just remain to yourself. But if you really, really, you just feel so so fucking trash talk to somebody and make sure it's somebody who's willing to listen to you and that isn't going to try to cut you off and offer their opinion so finding someone like that i'm sure it's pretty hard when you going through shit like this and you just need somebody to vent to i understand so if if um you think it's gonna be a situation like that, just stay away from it altogether because you're healing and you right now you're in a sensitive place. So definitely wanna just keep your mind focused on the healing so that you can get past this shit. Cause if you stay stuck feeling like shit, man, it's not gonna be good. Also, like I said yesterday, drink plenty of water when you're doing shadow work. Because you you're purging. And if you can, sweat. Go to a sauna or work out like a motherfucker and sweat. Because honestly, that's the type of shit that's going to help you. If if you're already pushing out, you know, negative emotions and shit that's in your body. And you go do some hard, hard labor that's making you sweat. Like, put on a long sleeve, drink a shit ton of water. And make sure that when you go out in the sun, it's like at peak fucking noon. And you sweating like a motherfucker and you just doing hard ass work like so hard that when you wake up tomorrow you're gonna be sore as fuck so first things first if you got to talk to somebody two drink plenty of water three sweat work out do some exercising do some yard work just go outside and also just go outside <laughs> honestly if you can work out outside that's like you killing two birds with one stone just go outside and also do something that you like doing. So, um, for example, I, sh I like to do these streams. So instead of me just only streaming on my scheduled time, you stream multiple times or uh, you make a bunch of, you make multiple beats or whatever makes you feel better. I try to kill two birds with one stone. So I do two things that I like at the same time. Also, take pictures of yourself. Taking pictures of yourself makes you feel better, especially when you genuinely try to enjoy the task. So take pictures of yourself, you know, just try to be with self, reflect in with self. Cause that shit is good for you. Um, yeah, do creative actions, do things that are creative. Like it can be anything, yo. I know people equate creative things to just um, doing like art but you can cook food and be creative you can do yard work and be creative you know what I'm saying you can plant a garden and be creative you can create anything and you can do any task and it become a creative task all it really takes is doing things your way you know what I'm saying doing shit that you you 
like doing and make sure that you 100% doing it your way because that's also good for you. Um, also, if you like to eat, then eat food, but I would recommend eating healthy food. Like, cause usually when you're sad or you going through some ha happy, mad or whatever, you tend to do things in excess because emotions be all out of whack. So I recommend eating healthy food if you're gonna eat a lot of food because you can't really go too wrong eating a lot of healthy food. A lot of food that uh, has a lot of prana in it is also good for you. So um, that's a good that's a good start, obviously, is eating a lot of food with prana or food that's alive. You know what I'm saying? Can't, can't lose eating food that's already breathing and moving. So that's a good start. Also, um, the fuck else, man? If you feel like your soul is being sucked out of you, just uh, disengage from people also. Like, there's a certain point, because you will start to feel, like, kind of shitty, like, to the point where it feels like like you haven't eaten or that you've been, like, fasting. You know how you feel when you're hungry? You start getting lightheaded. That's what it feels like, but it's like you don't get that lightheaded feeling. You just get that drained feeling, like, like you're not getting enough sleep, enough nutrients, and enough water. And your eyes start feeling like they're sinking into your head. And it's only because you're dealing with other people's energies, bro. So just stay away from other people's energies that's like fucking sucking the life out of you, man. Because that's that's what I'm saying. Like, if you just really got to talk to somebody, make sure it's somebody that you can talk to that's willing to listen and that does, isn't trying to just like shove something down your throat real quick so that you can stop talking or whatever. Like, have somebody who genuinely give a fuck about you and willing to listen. Which, like I said, I know it's hard to find somebody like that. So, just just don't even fucking... Just deal with the shit dolo, man. But if you feel like, man, I'm about to kill myself, then talk to somebody. But if you don't feel like that, and you're just going through, you know, the ebb and flows of doing shadow work, just, just, uh, just chill. Just talk to somebody. I would recommend some meditation also. Meditation is great. Doing breathing... Or pranayama can't beat that shit so just make sure that you breathe in you know making sure you're taking deep breaths and just try to keep your mind off the negative shit you know that's what that's what makes it worse is when you stay in that shit so just do something do something else do something you enjoy doing for real that's probably the easiest shit to do and going outside probably the easiest shit to do now, working out through shadow work, that's probably going to be the hardest shit. Because, you know, you're working out, you already, like, not feeling that shit. You already want to just lay in bed all day and not get up. So, best thing to do for show is fucking just chill. <laughs> just let your body rest, man. But, yeah, man. I feel like those are probably the best, best advice I can give you. Anything else would pretty much be kind of too drastic. Like buying a plane ticket and going out of town. Don't do no shit like that. Like if you feel like your life is crumbling apart and the shit that you believe in is just slowly starting to just disappear from you and all that's left is you, don't go out of town. Stay your ass where you need to fucking be at already and fucking just ride that shit out. Cause it's not gonna last forever and if, if it goes for more than a week usually that's we that's starting to sound self-inflicted so a few days of forcing yourself to go through shadow work just to understand like shit should only last as many days as you want to go through it so if it if you just feel like waking up and you just feeling like shit every day and you're not like putting your mind through that type of shit already like damn Today is gonna be ass. Like you just waking up in that feeling, then I would suggest fucking therapy or just really going to like somebody who you feel comfortable with and talking to them. Cause that's like the feeling right before you start doing some crazy shit. So talk to somebody then. Like I don't give a fuck if you don't feel like talking to nobody. Talk to somebody then. Cause going through the underworld is hard as fuck, y'all. 
I'm telling you, man, especially when you start, your intuition gets heightened. So you start hearing and feeling things that isn't really real. You start having all this shit like going through your head. So you got to like really stand 10 toes in your understanding of or your overstanding of yourself. Like, uh, say for example, like you all, all this time up until you start really doing shadow work, you just felt like you was destined to do this career or you was destined to be with this person or you was destined to live this certain type of lifestyle. And then you start doing shadow work. You start having realizations that, that make you start to panic. I would suggest at them very moments to one, get some notebook paper out and write out everybody that was a caretaker to you in your life. Do it by a category of divine masculine, divine feminine, and then other relationships. And just do like three rows. And then you list these people that you, you know, in a, uh, their category. So if it's, it's a divine feminine, and this doesn't have to be a woman or a man, this could be somebody who was a divine feminine caretaker to you. And on the divine feminine side, you write their names and then you write how they look at, well, it depends on the situation that you're trying to heal for. So um, I'll just use an example. Say for example that you are, uh, you having troubles dealing with money. So you write down a divine feminine and her perspective of money that you seen from them when they was a caretaker to you and what you remember them saying about money. So you will apply your niche or your your uh, particular problem that you're going through right now that you're doing shadow work on and you fill that into that spot. So you write down the person's name, if they're divine feminine, divine masculine or uh, other relationship. And other relationship would be like somebody that wasn't a divine feminine, divine masculine to you, but you had a intimate relationship with them. So this could be somebody that you might've dated from the past. So you write they fucking name in that section, or it, it can be anybody. It could be somebody you ain't date, just somebody who's really good friends, close to them. You write their names in there and their perspective that you heard from your recollection of what they think about that particular, their perspective on the shit that you are trying to heal. And then after you get done doing that, you compare, well, first you look at all the names and how they look at money. And then you look at yourself. So on the, on the, another row, you write yourself and you write how you really feel about money. And then you compare all these people with you and you see how much of them influenced you. You got to remember when you start feeling yourself slipping away from yourself, it's because you taking on so many energies, right? And it's hard to distinguish between what energies is yours and what energy is somebody else that might be feeling like shit. So you never know. It could really be yours. You know, you really could be going through something or you done took on a bunch of other people's energies and you, you might just need to take a shower, take a walk outside or do some workout. You know what I'm saying? Something simple just to get, get you out of that energy. And what I tend to do is I take holy wood. Like when I, when I leave the house and when I come back, I take holy wood or I take a shower. I burn some holy wood on myself and, uh, or I let the smoke cover me or I burn the shit in my space or I take a shower. Depends on how long I've been out. If it's like, you know, just went up the street 10, 15 minutes to grab something from the store, then I'll use holy wood. But if I've been out all day around niggas breathing on me, bitches touching all on me and shit, and I'm just trying to like get the energy off of me, I'll go get some holy wood. Shit, sometimes I'll even take a shower too, cause I'll take a shower first, then burn the holy wood. <laughs> on the real, like I done had days like that too, where just around too many people, energies, and I start feeling some type of way. So also it kills bacteria on your body too when you use like sage, holy wood, are you burning some type of uh, some type of plant that clean, clears out the energy around you and in your space? So, and you can do this on any anything that you bring into the crib, any item or whatever. So, that's normally what I do when I start feeling myself like slipping away, and I start feeling like like I'm about to do something stupid to myself. I just pull out a, I pull out a pen and paper because it makes it first it gets my body active. 
So now I'm not just all in my head. I'm connected with my body. And then I'm writing down my thoughts. So I'm getting the thoughts out while I'm writing them down, which is good. You want to do that. You want to get the shit out of your head. Because the more you think about it, the more you just start breaking down, breaking down, breaking down. And you don't, you're, you're not sure if it's real or not anyways because you're just going through all these different emotions and shit trying to understand yourself. So that's a, that's a good thing to do when you're going through some shit and you're just feeling like shit is fucked up. Like you got to you gotta sit down, get your body active and align with your mind so that you can take the shit out of your head through some form of like creative practice. Writing is always good. So you can write, or if you like somebody who does poetry, you can write a poem. Or if you somebody that fucking freestyles, another way is getting your you getting your body active by freestyling. Cause most of the time when you going through shadow where you're not really saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? You just letting shit, you know, you playing back images and videos and shit in your head and you just trying to like make a you know, make a, a overstanding of the shit that you're going through in your head that you're trying to that you're trying to gain insight on. So the most important shit is the insight that you gain, but you gotta make sure that you can receive it without overwhelming yourself. So you know, just take time, you know, don't you don't have to do this shit every day, but take time, like take time in between those intense ass like deep sessions you have with yourself because that shit can, it can be like wear and tear on your brain. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta clear your mind out first and then come back to because like I said, it can be wear and tear on your brain and you don't want that shit spewing out into your relationship. You, you gotta stay away as much as you can during these times from people, especially people you care about because you're gonna say some stupid shit. You're not gonna be in your right mind. So just drink plenty of water, relax, okay? But yeah. I think those are probably like some of the best things to do for shadow work, especially if you don't have a therapist and you don't have nobody you can talk to. Just talk to yourself, honestly. Don't don't get in the habit of doing this all the fucking time out loud because shadow work is something you're supposed to do alone. Now, if you're talking to yourself out loud on some just genius shit, that's cool, you know? If it helps you stay organized and grounded in what you're doing, there's nothing wrong with talking to yourself out loud. Like I do this shit all the time. Especially when I'm uh, doing like creative projects or I have an aha moment. I'm like, oh shit, this is what I'm supposed to do. Like, I, I repeat the shit out loud so that I can hear myself saying it out loud. And then it's like re-saved in my mind. So, just little tricks that I do that might be able to help you out when you're trying to absorb the information that yourself tells you. Like, DNA, when it's activated, the shit will give you the answers that you're looking for. So, don't, don't be... Uh, don't be afraid to take a break. You don't gotta be fucking Rambo. Fighting through this shit, especially doing it by yourself, it's already a hard enough task. So, some people are not gonna understand what you're going through either, so it's just better if you do it by yourself, for real, y'all. But don't, don't overwhelm yourself either. Do the shit in pieces. Do the shit in integrals. Integrals. <laughs> integrals. I don't even know how to say that word. <laughs> Also, if you're watching my stream, you can just mute me and just run the stream back and just watch everything from the beginning to now in silence. Pretty soon, I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and find some free uh, like meditation music, healing music that's at 432 hertz, and I'm gonna try and add them to this stream. But for now, it's just an idea. I gotta still look for the shit. Cause it would help me out too I would play the shit in the background But You know I ain't trying to fuck up My channel just yet I, I, I gotta keep my shit A1 You feel me For the most part But yeah Fuck with the images If they help you out um, I ain't gonna lie Don't hit me up I'm sorry y'all I mean I would say hit me up, but I'm actually going through some shadow work myself right now. So, uh, yeah, the less that I have to deal with right now is, is probably the best. So, y'all, if you like personally in my life on like a daily basis, then, you know, it's cool. But 
If you just like somebody who like going through their shot of work and you need my advice, don't hit me up. Just watch this video, man. Just run the video, man. Just it's just like if I'm talking to you anyway, so just run the video back if you need like some some quick healing tips or whatever on how to get through this type of shit. But uh yeah. Shit is real real life. <laughs> I know um most of the time the really shit that you'll probably go through is shadow work, so just try to uh try to push through. <laughs> I know it's hard but yeah I think that's it on that so today I streamed earlier matter of fact I uh, I started shoe live I, I put out the premiere of shoe live so that in itself is gonna be lit shoe live is basically me creating music live and I pretty much made the beat live and I just start, you know, freestyling or just coming up with song ideas. And basically how I'm gonna probably do it from here on out is those songs, whichever ones that y'all fuck with the most, out of all of those songs that I work on live, I probably put them on the podcast and I also put them on the radio segment when I'm just playing just music from my catalog for that particular day i'm not sure what day yet but soon come i i have the information for y'all soon but i'm not gonna lie y'all for the sake of my personal healing i'm probably not gonna stream the whole hour which is why i streamed earlier and also dropped the premiere of shoe live which i'm excited because i'm just uh creating normally how i would if i was in the studio or by myself but y'all get to see the process how I make my music and how I just pump out ideas and shit. So that's fucking exciting to me, man. I just, I look forward to that type of shit for real, for real. So hopefully one of these days I'll have like a set schedule up on the stream channel and we can just go off of that shit for real, for real. I ain't really uh, sat down and really thought about it too much yet. I just wanted to premiere the shit today. Since I figured out how to do the shit myself. So y'all welcome. I'm trying to give y'all a little bit of content, even though I'm going through, you know, my fucking shit right now. This show don't stop, baby. The show goes on. And I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a, a polymath based out of Georgia. And you watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. If you haven't been to my website, you should check it out. I got some products on there you can cop. That's lovely great stuff made by people who really care about what they creating so check it out true artist just creative person from the from the to the bone you know what i'm saying so check out the products also hit me up on instagram and facebook i might not reply right away right now because i'm going through some shit that i'm working on but at the same time you know Hit me up on there and I'll get back to y'all when I'm done with this journey. Because, like I said, the show don't stop. Yeah, I might be feeling like fucking lifeless turkey right now. But, you think I give a fuck? Hell nah. Because I love my peoples. I love y'all. And I appreciate y'all for coming on this stream and fucking with your boy Lord X. Put a lot of work into this channel. So, as things progress, y'all gonna start seeing how the channel changing more and more into my fucking channel this is my fucking tv show <laughs> so i'm hoping y'all fucking with it but this is just a little you know update on what's going on shout out to anubis and osiris helping guide your boy through the underworld also jay dilla came through when i started feeling real crazy had to listen to some uh donuts matter of fact i'm gonna put this in the chat everybody should listen to this record if you got time you should listen to this is an album this is Jay Dilla's last album he made this album on his deathbed literally the the tape released on his birthday and I think he died right after it came out or it's the shit released on his birthday and he died like two days before I'm not I can't remember off the top of my head the point is 
This man made this record while he was basically dying. So, right when I feel like I'm dying, I listen to someone who actually is dying, making, creating, and um, just pushing through the, the perseverance and the persistence to get through. Listening to this record makes anything possible for me, man. This man went on tour to European countries, dying, and was in a wheelchair, still spitting the hardest bars live on stage. The fucking crowd had to carry his fucking wheelchair up to the stage. So, I know y'all, uh, I just want to put things into perspective for y'all that even though days are hard sometimes and shit be getting rough and the people that you want to believe in may not seem real to you at that moment, there's always a worse situation. You know, there's always somebody going through a worse situation. So you got to be grateful. That, that that album puts things into perspective for me and it helps me be grateful. You know what I'm saying? Helps me be grateful for life. The fact that I'm healthy. The fact that I can still make music. That I got all my fingers and toes and hands and arms. You know what I'm saying? I got everything. So shit could be worse. You feel me? That doesn't mean that your situation isn't important. But shit could be worse. And you gotta be grateful. And you gotta count your blessings. So... I know, I know the shit is rough, you feel me? Like, you just gotta count your blessings, dog. Cause you don't wanna get too deep into that type of shit. Just like I always tell y'all on this channel, we keeping shit at the hair level. We keeping shit on the hair level, okay? But yeah, you know. That's all for the advice. That's all for my recommendations. Um, yeah. Lord of Perfected Work. Uh, I got the segment called Shoe Live now. I'll probably be doing this on certain days. The, surf, the first one started today, so... I may be doing it Thursday. I may be probably doing it Wednesday, because Thursday I'm still recording my album, like... Y'all, I'm so dedicated to doing what I have to do. I'm doing this shadow work. I did the Shoe Live premiere today. I mowed the lawn today. I fucking... I'm doing this second stream right now. And before I did this stream, I recorded an entire song for my album. So, like I said, shit going down, but the show don't stop, y'all. The show never stops. Shit gotta keep going. You did. But. Is what it is. We gonna fucking get through. We gonna fucking wrap up this session. Everybody, thanks for watching the live. I appreciate y'all stopping through. Uh, also... Lord of Perfected Work will continue to stream all the way up until Saturday. Sundays, I don't stream. So, if you're watching, uh, if you're watching the channel, just try to watch it Monday through Saturday. And all the views, try to get them up on those days. Because Sunday, we shall all be relaxing. We shall all be resting. We shouldn't be watching me talking about shadow work on Sunday at all. We shall all be relaxing, okay? I'm Lord Shuex. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. You're watching another episode of Lord Perfected Work. I'm going to drop the commercial one more time. But for now, I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove